Hey guys, watch this cool magic trick I learned. Whoa, it's so cool, isn't it? But why does this happen? Mommy! Oh, hey, Ryan. What's wrong? Why is the magnet sticking to the iron filing? <gasps> oh, that's really cool because it sticks because of this thing called magnetism. Get it? Magnetism? Huh? What, what's that? I'll explain it to you. Come on. Okay. Welcome to Ryan's world. Magnetism is the force that attracts magnetic objects like iron. Let's take a look. Here I have some iron fillings. Here we have a magnet. Look. Oh, see how it attracts the iron? Oh, that looks super cool. This is a giant magnet. A magnet is just a piece of rock or a metal that will attract objects that has a strong magnetic force. Take a look. Here we have some nails, you ready? Wow. This one. Look at this. The nail is made out of steel which has iron in it. The attraction is so strong that it's so hard for it to even come off. Look at this. Whoa. This is a hammer. It's also attracted to magnet. Watch. You ready? Put it down. Okay. Whoa. Guys, look. Do not try this at home. Well, look how strong it is. Okay, I have to use all my force to pull this apart. Uh, wow, they really are attracted to each other. Ah. So, the big question is, does magnets stick to all objects? Let's find out. Okay, here we have a giant egg. Does a magnet, you think, will attract to the egg? Let's see. Ah, oh, it does not. So this egg is made out of plastic, so it does not attract to a magnet. What about this key? Will the magnet attract to the key? Let's see. Ah! So the magnet is not attracted to the actual key, but it does to the key ring, look. Next, we have a pencil. Do they attract each other? is attracted to this fork? Let's see. <gasps> Whoa, it does! Look at this, that's so cool. Next, we have a feather. Oh, that tickles. Will they attract each other? Let's see. Ah, oh, it did not, it fell off, look. They do not attract each other. Next, we have a sponge. What do you think? Attract or not? It did not. Okay, what about some paper clips? Let's see if the magnet will attract to the paper clip. Okay, it's ready. Whoa, look. They are attracted to each other. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> what about the weight? one pound weight. Are they attracted to each other? Let's see. Okay, so you can't really tell, but there is a weak attraction. But, what if we pull out the giant magnet and see? Whoa! The dumbbell is magnetic. Look at that. Yeah. So based on a fun experiment, we can see that magnets are only attracted to objects made out of metal. But not all metals. Magnets are only attracted to strong metals like iron, cobalt, and nickel. A magnet will not stick to glass. It doesn't stick to paper either, look. No matter what color I pick. 
magnet doesn't stick to wood either, look. It also doesn't stick to plastic either, see? Or anything else that doesn't have metal. But remember, magnet doesn't attract to all metal. Here is copper wire. It's not magnetic at all. Magnets only attract strong metals like iron, cobalt, nickel, and even steel. Look! So objects that are attracted to a magnet, like these, are called magnetic objects. And objects that do not attract to a magnet are called non-magnetic objects. All magnets have a magnetic field that you can't see. It's invisible to us. The magnetic field is like a force field. However, if a magnetic object is inside the magnetic field, it will pull objects towards the magnet. Look! Magnets have two poles. The north of the magnet, or the end pole, or the south pole of the magnet, or the S pole. The poles of the magnet is where the force is the strongest. Look, if I put it to the side, it doesn't pick up as much iron as if when I point to the pole. If you have two magnets and you put one end that is the north pole and the other end that is the south pole together, look what happened. They attract each other. But what do you think will happen if I put both ends that are north pole together? Oh no, they don't attract at all. Do you know what they're doing? Let's see, look. They're repelling one another. Then what happened if I do south and south? Do you do the same thing? It's trying to say, get away, get away from me. They also repel each other. So only opposites attract. If you have a north pole at one end, the other needs to be a south pole. See? If you cut a magnet in half, the two smaller magnets will also have a north and south pole. Did you know that the Earth is like one giant magnet? So, it also have a north and south pole. Ever seen a compass like this? If you're lost in the woods, or maybe in your backyard, you can use the compass to guide you. It will always point towards north, okay? All right, uh-huh, uh-huh, north is that way, so uh-huh. So my house is not north, so keep going. Opposite of north, uh-huh. Keep going. <gasps> See, I knew a compass would help me. I'm home. Some compass has a needle that is usually made out of a strong magnetic metal like iron. The needle also have a north and south pole. It's made so the pointy part always points north to the north of the Earth's magnetic field. So magnets can look pretty cool and fun. Whoa. Magnets actually have real life application too. Look, the refrigerator door also uses magnet to help you open and close. Look. Here, you see a junkyard crane using magnets to help move scrap steel, which contains iron from one place to another. So now that we learned some basic concepts about magnets, look. Let's take a quiz. Question number one. Which one of these three objects will be attracted to the magnet? Paper, hair clip, or a brush? What do you guys think? Did you get the answer? It will be paper clip, look. Wow. That means the paper clip must be made out of metals that are attracted to the magnet. If I put one end of the magnet that is the south pole and another magnet that is the south pole together, will they attract or repel one another? Let's see. Did you 
Did you guys see the answer? They totally repel one another. Look, I can't even put them together. It has to be opposite attracts. If one end is a south pole, the other one needs to be the north pole. See? Question number three. What is the field around the magnet called? Is it A, a soccer field? Is it B, a fun field? Or is it called C, a magnetic field? Did you get it? The answer is C. The field around the magnet is called a magnetic field. But it's invisible, so we can't actually see it. Now that we've learned all about magnets, let's go find Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, where are you? Ryan, wait a minute. What is happening? How is the magnet moving by itself? <gasps> wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> I knew it, Ryan. Trick you. Bye guys, thank you for learning magnets with us. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! Bye! Whoa! Whoa!